You may have heard about the benefits of a raw diet for your puppy, but at the moment you aren't quite sure if you want to commit. Maybe you agree with the philosophy of feeding a balanced raw diet, but the only thing holding you back is fear and uncertainty. I understand, it's quite intimidating. Not only do you have to get over the feeding raw meat to your dog hurdle, you also have to get over the balancing it properly hurdle. Puppies especially need a balanced diet daily that includes all essential nutrients. Because of this, many owners and veterinarians suggest that puppies should be fed balanced dry or canned food and later be introduced to raw food when they become an adult. But is this really what's best? Recently, some new information has come out that actually seems to prove otherwise. So let's get into what that is and what can be done to make things easier for you. Recently, an article published by Science Daily started trending, which reviewed the results of a study conducted by the University of Helsinki. This study suggests that the diet of growing puppies may be a leading factor in the development of allergies and atopic dermatitis in adulthood. In human and animal studies, it's been found that early life exposures, like the diet, can impact the development of the immune system and disease susceptibility later in life. And knowing this, the University of Helsinki wanted to see what foods may increase and decrease this risk. A total of 4,022 dogs participated in this study, ranging from two to six months of age, and were observed until a little after reaching one year. 46 food items with four different diet types were tested for their association with allergy and atopic skin issues later in life. The owners of these puppies were asked to answer what percentages of raw food, dry food, wet food, or home-cooked food were fed during the course of the study. The researchers also screened for what indoor or outdoor edibles were ingested during this time, as well as the breed, as some breeds are more allergy prone. Once these puppies entered adulthood, the results were in, and the findings were pretty interesting. The dogs that consumed a diet with at least 20% of it being raw food had a significant decrease in prevalence of skin allergy and atopy, while the dogs that didn't consume any raw food or 80% or more of the diet was dry food had a significantly increased prevalence of skin allergy and atopy issues. The raw food inclusions consisted of tripe, organ meats, and fish oils, with human meal leftovers also being an inclusion at times. When it comes to other fresh foods, fruits appeared to be a significant factor in an increase of allergies later in life, and it was suggested that the cause was from high sugar intake disrupting the gut microbiome. There are a few other interesting findings as well, and the full study will be linked in the description. So, the conclusion in the study suggests that what your puppy eats as they grow into adulthood may determine if they'll develop skin allergies or atopic dermatitis later in life, which is a significant finding as these are big problems dogs tend to deal with. If this study has helped in convincing you to start your puppy on a raw diet as soon as possible, let me give you some advice on how to do this confidently. I always encourage feeding balanced DIY raw meals as you know exactly what's going into them and in what amounts, but there are also many commercial raw options available that are already complete and balanced as well. This removes the guesswork of balancing off your shoulders, but they may be more pricey. Some of my current recommendations are Darwin's, Rebel Raw, Raw Canine, The Bones & Co, Cure, and Primal. Our friends at Viva Raw are also in the works of creating balanced recipes as well, but still have pre-model raw grinds if you're confident in adding meal additions to fill gaps. How do you know what nutrient gaps to fill if you're feeding PMR grinds or homemade DIY raw, you ask? Well, this brings me to my second resource on how to feed puppies a balanced raw diet, and that's our channel. I have many videos that go over the basics of feeding puppies a DIY raw diet, what nutrients are necessary for growth, development, and maintenance, as well as how to calculate their caloric intake and nutrient intake. I will link all of these videos in the description below. If you want to start off with the basics, watch this video. 